Chat, who here played Elden Ring? Who here has been playing Elden Ring? Apparently, there's one item that fractured Elden Ring's fan base. Apparently, let's find out more about it. <laughs> oh, 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 I just had a horrible dream. A dream where people bought a DLC to a difficult game made by a company that famously makes their DLCs extra what? difficult and then ignored no. a new system that makes it less difficult and got upset that the game was too difficult. <sighs> no! Oh God, it was just a dream, though. I'm, I'm still the Elden Lord, and this chair still has no back support. Ugh. Man. <sighs> <Whew>. <laughs> Wait, it, it wasn't a dream? <laughs> nice. <laughs> the cheeks! Bro, he's double cheeked up! Freaking double cheeked up! There it is. So, some time has passed since the release of Soat, mostly because I've actually been playing it, enjoying it, and really wanted to fully complete every aspect of the DLC before I gave a knee-jerk reaction and opinion. And I'm glad to announce I've successfully beaten the final boss of the DLC, and it- I haven't, but I'm almost there. It totally didn't have a lasting psychological effect on me. <laughs> when I play FromSoft games, I completely close my eyes and ears to every single piece of information possible. I didn't even watch the trailers or look at sneak peek images when the- I did look at the trailers. Most of the times I try to ignore um, con uh, not content media around it, but I do look at the initial trailer. So apart from that, I try to stay away from stuff. DLC was announced, I muted every single word and phrase possible so I wouldn't even see enemy designs or new environments. I didn't mute Fair. the word Roddy though, because I could <laughs> never silence my queen. Everything, down to the last freak, I wanted to discover and see on my own during my first playthrough. I care about how lighting cracks through Very a cave ceiling just as much as I care about a mainline boss fight. Every inch and second of Elden Ring is special to me, and I expected the DLC to sweep me off my feet like the base game did. <laughs> And oh Christ, I think this is some of FromSoft's best work ever. So you can imagine my shock when I emerged from my grotesque gamer juice laden flesh cocoon to see this DLC is too high! This is the easiest thing ever created! What the fuck is a skidoo fragment? Uh, what? What? <laughs> How did this happen? Aren't we the get good guys? Aren't we the ones that played Demon Souls? You know, the game that had a yeah. feature where it removed half of your fucking health bar if you made the mistake of dying to a hidden corner shadow medieval crack addict? Well, Demon Souls is on another level, huh? Okay, easy does it. Uh... <laughs> Oh, cool! Great! Nice! Nice! Yes! Awesome! 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 Yes! And Sekiro didn't even really have builds. Your only option was to learn yep. every single attack yep. pattern. Foolish. This is why I still say Sekiro is the hardest uh, from soft game. Samurai, this action game is actually a concealed rhythm game. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened? What changed? He's not wrong! Oh, uh, bro, he's actually not wrong, though. Uh, well, you see, you could honestly blame the entire discourse on this one single dookie-looking pinecone, a skadoo fragment, or as Miyazaki would... Uh, apparently, it's pronounced shadow. ...like to gaslight you into calling a shadow tree fragment. <laughs> all right, sure, dude, all right, whatever you say. Apparently, it's like Latin or something. I'm not entirely sure I don't speak Latin. <laughs> Good night, Benny. Thanks for hanging out. Hey, now, get back in your gyal cell. <laughs> These little things are yeah. how you level up your character in the Land of Shadow, and some folks are pissed. But surely it can't be that straightforward, can it? This little spiky thing couldn't have obliterated 15 years of white-knuckled hardcore classics that everyone adored for their sheer difficulty. Well, just like how America shattered the Elden Ring, <coughs> yeah. I believe the argument has been fragmented into multiple pieces. So let's take some putrid online gamer debates and shatter them into some consumable chunks in what I believe to be the source of the problem. Wait, people actually found issue with the shadow treat fragments? Wait, what? <sighs> now I want to see a game that bounces between rhythm games and action game. Bro, that would actually be crazy to see. Fuck shock, thanks for the follow. Because I feel it's actually shockingly interesting given the unique space these games are in. So. Did we just have two follows? What's going on?
Where's the name? Oh here, yeah, remember Tempus. Thanks for the follow. Base name. Also, I, I I thought making a separate uh fucking system for the DLC so you could play it more or less at any time and point of the game was actually pretty good. Like, huh? Let's just uh, uh break this thing, I guess. <laughs> Ring rust, stolen power, rapid ascent, lost knowledge, These okay? Are the great argument shards, and to wield the full might of a gamer's opinion, we must consume them! Oh, <laughs> that was the wrong one! <laughs> there are people in your walls trying to steal your data! Oh, oh God. My God, no! My photos are Ronnie! This video is sponsored by NordVPN. You know him, you love him, chances no! are you probably use him at this point. And if you don't, what's no! wrong with you, bozo? NordVPN is a virtual private network no! that keeps you and your beloved computer safe from cyber ne'er-do-wells that mean to do you harm by tracking you, gathering your data, I and stealing your stuff. Coming. VPNs aren't a secret weapon anymore. They're kind of necessary if you want to get the full potential from your internet usage. And NordVPN offers an extensive I don't know about that though. Um, I heard um, VPNs are more or less a scam nowadays, so I, I don't know about that. I'm not too knowledgeable about it. Expensive either, range of security weapons to safeguard users and their devices. You've got password protection, public Wi Fi encryption, hidden IPs, malware destruction, and a complete safeguard against ads and files built by digital cybermancers to steal your juicy ass pics. <laughs> what? If you want to be safe, browse stuff that you otherwise would be blocked from seeing, then NordVPN Maybe it was is some a other language then. Get an exclusive NordVPN deal and four months extra when you check out NordVPN.com slash you would think by now that now as I've been consuming so much YouTube content as a creator, as a reactor, that I would be able to sniff out an ad from a mile away. But nope, I, I still suck at Michael it. Tunes, dude. All right, back to it. Now, as any Dark Blood Sekiro Ring Souls Thank player you. will tell Thank you, you Elden Ring is FromSoft's <laughs> easiest game by, like, magnitudes. Almost every build is I viable agree. and has room for cheese. Summons and horse combat can belittle enemy and- Elden Ring is only as hard as you make it for yourself. And goddamn do I love suffering! Thanks for the follow, he bought us. Counters, the open world really invites you to over-level and over-equip. Crafting allows you to always have that specific status effect you need, and there are checkpoints everywhere, including special ones at boss doors. Ha! Kids these days would never survive a Dark Souls run back. Bro, the Bloodborne run back's already killing me. Bro, the Bloodborne run back to the fucking Yarnum Ghosts. Bro, I hate it. Fucking, I gotta take two shortcuts, gotta like, run past two stupid as enemies, then past multiple pigs, it's- Oh my god. <laughs> or the fucking Dark Souls 2 death door. Fuck this thing, Jesus Christ. However, Whoa. the initial- What? <laughs> or the fucking Dark Souls 2 death door. Fuck this thing, Jesus there's a door that leads you just into your death! What the fuck?! Jesus Christ! However, the initial hours of Elden Ring can be quite challenging, particularly if you're new to Souls games. And I think a lot of mm. people forgot that. Towards the middle to late game, things can get comically easy, especially if you're running a level 200 tarnish turned Elden Blower. <laughs> Players returning after a break might find a sudden shift from effortlessly defeating enemies and tanking multiple hits to struggling for survival quite jarring. This can feel like an unnecessary spike in difficulty, especially if you're unaware that the DLC significantly scales down the character's overall power Power level. Which brings me to my next shard. Hit. So it doesn't matter power. if your character was level 713 and killed every god under the piss tree in the land of Multiple shadow. Times. He's a little fucking bitch. The DLC crunches your level down to prevent players from easily overpowering the content. I think they've did it actually so beautifully. I think from soft did actually such a good job with the leveling system in uh uh but the DLC man. The fact that people took issue with this is crazy to me. This approach actually enhances the experience because the satisfaction for most players comes from the challenge of defeating a boss after multiple attempts. I don't think... I think Elden Ring brought in a lot of players that hadn't played from soft games before. It did, it did, it definitely did. And by extension, we're unfamiliar with just how ball-bustingly difficult their DLC usually is. It was my first from soft game as it happens. I see!
But yeah, it did bring in a lot of new players. Because Elden Ring really did make the genre finally go mainstream. Can we stop calling if people tourists, man? That word is so fucking cringe. Calling someone who's unfamiliar with something a tourist is so fucking cringe. I don't want to see it. Anyone would like a $40 DLC from FromSoft filled with bosses that your late game build would just nuke in one hit. So what? Hey, yo. My character just screwed now? Can I offer you a nice pine cone in this trying time? Skidoo tree fragments are the way you counteract this nerfing effect. The more you get, the stronger you are here. It's that simple. You'll find them everywhere in dungeons, caves, fields, and even the stomachs of giant hippos. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, for some reason. I'm still missing some. I've been wanting to collect all the Shadow Tree fragments before I get to the... Before I fight Rodan, but I don't know where to get the last ones. I got all the hippo ones now. So the idea is that the more you organically explore, the stronger you'll organically get. Ow. What? Did you be DLC, guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm at the last boss. I'm in the story at the last boss. I'm missing some quest bosses but at the story i'm at the last boss you every resource and play style to make the game as hard or as easy as you want but you have to learn them and use them call it a byproduct from complacency in the gameplay or choice paralysis from how many options elden ring truly gives you but i really think that most players here especially the ones complaining about difficulty aren't using every tool at their disposal true true True. Listen, I play like a brain dead, unoptimized moron. And for a while, <laughs> so do I. While I barely understood the idea of level soft caps and hard caps. Yeah, I I didn't know about this until way later into me being into from soft games. Base buffs, crit daggers, elemental weaknesses. What the fuck do you mean I gotta eat this dude's meat? Oh, oh, oh you must be hungry. Am I? And other than the final bastard, I killed nearly every single boss in one to five tries by just swinging a fucking big ass stick until the scary thing got turned into dust particles. And I did it all before any balance changes. So if my barely function- I beat original Radad in the main game. Before the balance changes, just saying, I was there, I did it. If Bonk Brain can do it, so can anyone else. I watched a buddy yep. use like eight buffs and consume a pile of god knows what and beat the final boss without moving or taking damage, decimating him with every hit and healing to full health infinitely. It genuinely felt like I was watching an exploit, but it wasn't an exploit. He was just using every tool within reach. Yep. Elden Ring's combat is 50% get good and 50% puzzle. What works, what doesn't work. This is one of the bosses I haven't fought yet. Try new summons, respec, craft greases, swap talisman, throw a goddamn pot of molten glunch at their goddamn face. If they're spamming a move that always kills you, you're spamming a mistake. For God's sakes, I've seen people beat these bosses. <laughs> this is crazy. This is so dead crazy. What do you mean, dance pad? For God's sakes, I've seen people beat these bosses on a dance pad. What do you mean? What do you mean she beat Bale on a DDR pad? Was it called the DDR Dance Dance vs. Revolution? Yes. What do you mean? She didn't fake that though? I don't think so, no! A fucking goldfish has beat some of these freaks! Are you saying you are less Wait, what? What? what a goldfish? A goldfish? A... A goldfish has finished a DLC before me? Huh. Fish has beat some of these freaks. Are you saying you are less than a fish in a tank? Apparently I am! <sighs> The DLC has about 50 hours of content if you frolic around everywhere and poke every ghoul with a ghoul poker. Ah, poke, 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 poke. It. But it seems like a lot of people don't want to play like this. Whoa, they don't want to play an open world game with open world exploration and explore the open world in an open world game? They want to play like this, and that's totally valid, but it's... That's not the game for them, then. It'll be objectively harder, so don't be shocked when the open world game crushes your bones for playing it like a more linear experience. If you rush the DLC, the bosses are going to be the ones rushing your ass down to the fog wall. 
<laughs> yep. The bastard just walked in with a level three scone. <laughs> Help! So, with all the fragments in our inventory, what's my final opinion on this debacle? And is there a solution that would please everyone? For starters, I really think the deal. Thorin's see, uh, isn't hard, and I'm not posturing to some Elden Ring stand Miyazaki. Sh yeah, I don't think it's hard either. I think it's just from soft style Fine. i'm saying from a technical level and from what i've been able to achieve as a b-tier souls player it really isn't hard if you just explore a little and use every tool you got now could yep. the skidoo system be explained more thoroughly yeah should they have made a bunch of redundant scud fragments so you didn't have to comb through everything probably and are the fragments a bad system absolutely not the two oh, they're a good system 100 percent good route, system i see this near sequel in my opinion, Monster Hunter is far harder than Souls games. I can't say because I haven't played too much of Monster Hunter. I only started playing Monster Hunter World. Size DLC could have gone down are make it too easy, not add any sort of power negation, and have late game characters walk through every encounter in five hours, or whack every character with a shrinkening hammer so that the experience can be tailored specifically to the developer's preferences, allowing for a more customized and curated environment. <laughs> Which way, Miyazaki? The ghoul cave or the poison swamp? No. No, stop. Why are you so excited? Stop. Obviously. <laughs> oh, me as a... See, they went with the latter, and I think it was the right decision. And let's be honest, Elden Ring is FromSoft's first game that kind of left their core audience, and historically, their main vocal fans have been those who relish extreme challenges. But when a game sells 25 million copies, shit can get weird and really fucking loud. Yep. Miyazaki, in a recent interview with The Guardian, stated, quote, In preparation for Shadow of the Erd Tree, I played through the main story of Elden Ring. Yeah, didn't say- didn't me I, didn't Miyazaki say he sucks at the game? I wanted to preface this by saying I absolutely suck yeah, at video games. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Oh my god, it's right in the next sentence. So my approach or playstyle was to use everything I have at my disposal. All the assistance, every scrap of aid that the game offers, and also all the knowledge that I have as the architect of the game. The freedom and open world nature of Elden Ring perhaps lowered the barrier to entry, and I might be the one who's benefiting the most from that as a player more than anyone else. So come yeah. on! the fucking pine cones eat the fucking lunch kill the fucking bosses <sighs> to be fresh is to be unpopular to be exciting is to be unconventional to be bold is to be risky and to be mm -hmm. creative is to be misunderstood a game for everyone damn, damn. is a game for no one based holy shit say it again that is so creative based. is to be misunderstood a game for everyone is a game for no one there it is that is so fucking true. Oh my god! Oh my god, I got him! That wasn't so bad! People gotta stop bitching and just- Love that. Oh, I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Good fucking video. Good ass video. Yeah, and I really don't know why people saw fucking issues with the Shadow Tree Fragments, bro. It's a good system. They did a fucking good job at it. They did an amazing job at designing the DLC. Amazing. Amazing DLC. 10 out of 10 DLC, even. I remember the pain well. <sighs> well! Thanks for watching, YouTube. Oh, my system. You already saw the final boss done, just haven't killed it I'm yet? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know Radan, I know that he has a second phase. I've gotten to the second phase, and then I realized I was at 15 tiers out of 20 tiers on Shadow Tree Fragments. So I said, yeah, let's go find some more Shadow Tree Fragments. Let's go find some more before we, we tackle Radan. Bye, YouTube.